This is a brief recap of round four, day one, Etienne Bacro white against Pankratov black. And white won a fantastic game, starting with the French opening. And Nige E2 was a bit of a surprise. And then the game developed, and I'm going to go straight to where the action was. So here, Queen A2 play, A6. You can see that the kings are on the opposite side of the board. So clearly, an attacking game where each side is trying to prevail. So in this position, tactic started with taking on E6. The king moved away. And here, back row went for bishop d7. Rook f6 played. And now, where does the queen go? The queen is guarding the bishop on d7. So here, that's where fantastic move, brilliant idea was found by white. What would you play here? Back row went for knight e5 so in the game rook b2 played absolutely crazy position but what happens simply if black takes the queen to check the king move you take the queen attacking the rook the rook moves and now only move knight e6 and white is having a winning advantage so let me show you the variation. The knight comes here, attacking b2. You remove the knight, and if you take here on b2, you can have 95, and you're forking to pieces. Very complicated, but after that, bishop e6, and you're winning material. So, knight e5, uh, queen sack, and rook b2 played. So what do you do with white there? So white simply took the rook. But it turns out that the best move here was to give the queen away. And if you do check here, the pawn is like you cannot take because the queen would do a check on b8. So you would do king c2. And that's absolutely crazy position with everything being attacked. So, nevertheless, king takes b2 played, queen b8, check, and then black took the queen. So queen b6 played, bishop f7, and queen f6. So white has two rooks for the queen. But now, keep in mind, this knight is far from the action, and the king is kind of in a very weak position. So here, bishop g5 played, and the best move was to sack a piece here. And here it's still very complex. But instead, black took on g5, and that was a big mistake, because take, take, and rook b1. And you attack here. As I said, that bishop here controls the key escape squares and you're threatening checkmate. So g6 to give some room for the king. But here the game continued. Bishop d5. That's another very strong move. The bishop here and the knight cannot come back. So not only do you have the king here being exposed, but that bishop here prevents black to coordinate the pieces. So now the game continued. Black tried to survive. And here again, in this, you can have the rook is protected. The rook here is no longer under attack. And that bishop here dominates the knight. And white has some ideas to try to attack the king. So here, f4 played. King b4, and black took here, and after rook e7, it was game over. So why is that? Well, the king cannot come here because you would pin the queen. So the king would go to h8, you do check, and now bishop e4. 
And if you don't take the bishop, which is losing, and you move the king, then rook g3. So king b4, attacking here, and also threatening to attack over here was the winning idea. I hope you enjoyed this recap. Don't forget to subscribe.